Dear Terror Community, welcome to our weekly crypto news to market update video and today we will talk about Bitcoin and fundamental money flows into this market. And what's interesting is that analysts are now comparing Bitcoin to 2013 all-time highs. This is quite interesting due to a lot of people thinking about now selling Bitcoin, you know, near the all-time high. Is it a good point to sell or will we break the all-time high and run even higher? And another thing, if you think about where Bitcoin will heading to, you won't sell now. And this is quite interesting why we can see this formation 2013. As we broke the Fibonacci level, the market shoot to the top. And right now we're having the same RSI and the same RVI formation over here. And as well hanging around this Fibonacci level. If we're breaking through this, we could see another push. This is quite interesting if we will see this or not, but another thing, as long as we are around this Fibonacci level, you should not sell your Bitcoin. Of course, there's no financial advice, it is just um, talking about this article. And what is quite interesting, the price is high, but the tension is low. If you could take a look on the Google search of Bitcoin, you can see the mainstream is gone again and it is not came back like it was the year at the all-time high in the spring and now here we can suggest if the mainstream people will search for bitcoin again we could create some formal and even higher prices so that's where this is a good indicator argo blockchain wants to build a mining facility in texas cost up to two billion dollars quite interesting is here you can see some of these pictures and they want to use Texas as a good and new blockchain mining location. Did you? He said, or the CEO of Argo said, that Texas has cheap prices for renewable energy. You're having a lot of sun over there and new technologies are pushed in Texas. So this is quite a good environment for companies and he wants to become climate positive in the future for Bitcoin mining as well. This would be very brutal and very positive. And the state Texas is currently home to Blockhead, right blockchain and many others. So Texas is the new crypto hub when it comes to mining. Google invests 1 billion in the CME group with a 10 year cloud deal. And now it's quite interesting that this will help CME this long-term partnership to transform derivates market through technology, expanding access, creating efficiencies and as well new products and services will come to the market faster. Why is this interesting? CME was the first group that launched Bitcoin futures. So they are very into crypto. They are very into digital assets and positive for them. And now they want to expand their offerings step by step. And as well, Google is positioning itself, so to speak, here in a good position. And this as well underlines that everything that comes across with digital assets, blockchain and digitalization is at the moment worth a investment and so over here quite a fundamental positive view and of course event for the whole industry if we're taking a look on the seven day performance we can see everything in the green some are more up some are less up solana and binance coin had good runs while bitcoin is just seven percent up in the last week the market cap as well showing this trend started from 2.65 trillion now are hanging around 2.9 trillion so a push of around 10 percent and we're taking a look on bitcoin based on the last week we can see that we built a local high at around 64k and there we saw no real positive movement due to we as well touched these levels before around three times so you can see one two three and always saw sellers and this time we as well saw sellers from these levels we saw sellers of around 6.5 percent we then as well touched 60k as an important support line we can see this that we touched it multiple times in the last days before too so here 
the strong support was established and then starting with Sunday midday to Sunday in the eve the market then rushed and Bitcoin moved up around 10% build a local high at around 66,400 so just a few dollars below the all-time high and is now seeing smaller pullbacks but just small profit takings of around 2% if Bitcoin managed to stop at least at the mid of the Bollinger Band, it would be super bullish and the market would possibly go up again. If we are losing these areas, then we can see that we built no real support down below to 60k, just we stopped a little around here at 62k, but then the market could possibly see a sharp and fast dump again. But the last weeks and months showed that the upswings always were stronger than the downswings so we can think about a strong and good support establishment at this 65 region over here and then having a push to this resistance and even higher. I hope you like this video if you do so I would love you to comment like or share this video and we will see you next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by TROX.